what so far are we seeing or still are we seeing from the remnants of Irma? Back to my place to pick up a bunch of debris and my boy right here <laughs> came by to say what's up he came to check up on me i'm showing him that this tree right here is hovering a bunch uh hovering above the uh the power line right here i don't know what's holding it besides this fence but i hope it holds long enough before the power company can come and cut this thing down so it doesn't do any more damage because according to this man right here which is, this is my brother right here. This is my brother right here. Oh, man. <laughs> man. He said he got some footage of some, some uh, transformers blowing out. So it was like green lightning and stuff all over the place. Just see a blue flash. That's blue it. flash? A blue flash. That's it. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, so I got to clean up this mess right here. This man just came to check up on me. So I'm just kind of showing him what's going on over here. Luckily, not a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't notice that snapped. Oh, that's great. I don't have a freaking, I don't have a thing to cut it down with. Right. Right there. Right there. Oh well, maybe I can pull it down. So in case you guys are wondering who that was outside, that's Booby. And that's family to me. He's 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 like one of my brothers. Just like some of my closest friends as well. He doesn't live far away. He just came to check up on me. And now he's heading back home to finish cleaning up his yard. And I am about to do the same. These are different socks. I, I got so excited. I thought I found the missing sock. It turns out it's a different sock. Oh well. I'm changing shoes so I don't ruin my white ones. Luckily, in the entire neighborhood, nothing major happened. There's a lot of down fences, which I didn't even expect that really, but there's a lot of fences that got ruined, a lot of down trees randomly, but they didn't seem to hit any houses or anything, which is great. Except for this one tree back here that fell, and it's right next to the power line. That I'm concerned about. But other than that, I'm not stressing over it too much. The reason why I'm doing this as soon as I can is because in certain neighborhoods like ours, if you don't pick up your stuff soon enough, by the time the pickup services for all the hurricane debris come around, you get stuck. And the other services won't come by and pick up the leftovers or the big stuff that you have. You'll have to either take it to a dump or you have to break it down to the smallest level so they can actually take it and they can only take so much. So better to do it right away, as soon as you get to your place. Order of operations, prepare for hurricane. Wait for hurricane, go through hurricane. Check on your stuff, clean up your stuff as soon as possible so that way the city can take care of the rest. Something like that. Just a tiny pile. Where did you come from? Look at this little guy. I'm so glad I didn't rake on him. Alright, I gotta find a place for him for now. Alright, I'll be right back buddy. Let me get you a little spot. Oh wait, there's a box. Box here, and some linen or something, and 
so you can be a little comfortable. I have no idea if that's a, I don't know what that is, but whatever he is, I don't know what to do with him, but I'll figure it out. Maybe I can take him to a shelter or something in a couple of days. I just want to make sure he's fed. I have no idea where this little guy came from, and I don't see his parents anywhere. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, you're caught, buddy. Come on. Let go. Don't get, don't get tangled. There you go. Look at this guy. Okay, buddy. I don't know what to do with you yet, but I'm going to try to figure it out, all right? I'm going to bring him inside for now and try to make sure he's safe. I wish I could bring him to his parents, but I don't know where they're at. I'm not exactly uh, Mr. National Geographic when it comes to animals. So, this little guy's going to come with me, I guess for now, until I can figure out where to take him. Um, Alright, you're going to stay here for now, okay buddy? I'm going to go finish cleaning up the yard. Alright, he's safe and sound inside right now. I just barely saw him at the last second before I was going to start raking his area. I don't want to hurt anything. I'm going to try to keep my eyes a little bit more open. I'm just glad I saw him. Alright, where is he? I just saw him. There's a snake. Right in here. I just saw him slither right in there. I got to get him out of there so I... Well, I don't think he'll bite or anything, but... I would much rather not have to be surprised by this little prick while I'm trying to pick up my stuff. Looks like I got that little guy just in time before this guy probably got to him. I got the yard done, front and back. There's a couple little leftover debris, but I'm not gonna stress over it too much. I'm just gonna change. I'm gonna grab the little guy that I found out in the backyard. I talked to a couple of my friends on Facebook and one of them already suggested a wildlife preserve place. So I'm going to get in contact with that person who runs it and find out whether or not they'll be available, say like tomorrow. Hopefully they are, because then I can just drop off uh, the little guy and they can take care of him. I'm gonna take him with me. He's gonna hang out with me tonight and hopefully I can get him to a safe place tomorrow. Apparently the place that I was looking at, they're flooded so I can't, I can't even get in there to drop him off to them. So hopefully maybe tomorrow, I don't know. my turn. I didn't even see the road. There it is. Oh, no wonder I couldn't see the freaking sign. <laughs> it got twisted around. Huh. Uh, let's see. Road closed. Dead end. They did say that the road was completely ruined by a sinkhole. I guess I can reroute around the edge here? I don't know what the deal is. Oh yeah, holy crap. Yeah, that road just got jacked. Look at that. Total sinkhole. Wow. All right, well, I'm glad I'm able to get through anyway.
good. You have a pouch? Okay, hold on. You got. Have you have to see this. Look at this. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of them in there. A pouch of pinkies. Do I see blood on his nose? Maybe a little cut, but it doesn't look bad. Okay, go in there with your buddies. Okay, well, that would explain. Oh, what was he? Oh. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That part I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that part. <laughs> And you saw bruises? Yeah, yeah, it looked like he had a bruise kind of like on the neck area, like shoulder neck area. Yeah. But when I found him, he was moving a lot, so he was doing all right. Mm -hmm. um, he, once I put him in the box, that's when he calmed down. And uh, I guess- Kept was, him warm? Yeah, as warm as I could keep him in there. Yeah. Um, I tried to keep it closed, and then I put the, um, the glove on him. And then I tried to heat up the glove sometimes and put it on him. You just went right in. <laughs> right? They're all keeping each other warm, so I don't want to... And my body heat is keeping them warm. Yeah. So. That's cool. I want to keep them there. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay, awesome. You are good to go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look at this little guy. Where did they find him? Do you know? Um. Did they say? Yeah, she said that um, he just got blown out of the water and the lake was dry and, or the lake was flooded. She didn't want to put him in there. Wow. That, I mean, he's tiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a little. born. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's freaking adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Looks like I a, is that a slider? Yeah, yeah, it looks like a little slider. Where did you find them? Um, the two littler ones were in our neighbor's backyard in their nest. And this one, uh, somebody else found on a sidewalk. This person between all of our volunteers, and yeah. then if we get like you know, because I was gonna crazy, crazy my mom has raised them after hurricanes before, and mm -hmm. her and I were gonna raise them, except for them when we saw this one's leg. We knew, yeah. so I took them. <sighs> squirrel's gonna be okay. Freaking love squirrels, squirrels are awesome. Little dude's gonna be all right. Uh, if you ever need to take an animal that's injured or is orphaned or anything like that. Go here. These people are amazing. They're super sweet, super nice. Uh, if you want the information, it's gonna be in the description of this video below. And if you guys do find any more animals or anything like that, you can't take care of them, take them here, all right?